Yes, my guys. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. Try and enjoy the Christmas holidays, even though Chelsea did everything that they could to ruin it. I feel peak for everyone who travelled up. Big up to my guys, Fata, Matt Dav, Ziad, Alex, all the man them that travelled out. Charlie, all you guys, Jordan, Brendan. You man struggled. You man suffered today, man. It's a shame, but... Oh, I saw this shit coming. This is why I dodged it. This is why I fucking dodged it. You must be mad if you think I'm spending my Christmas watching this shit. I I've got half a mind to skip the Crystal Palace game and that one's at home in a few days. No Palmer, no Sterling, probably no hope. Because that's all that Potch relies on for us to score goals. Just moments of magic from the pair of them. We don't even have Enzo. <laughs> so we ain't got no magic coming from any of them three. We've probably got no magic. And we've got nothing coming from this entire squad. We lost again. Wolves 2, Chelsea 1. We got an Nkuku dagger. Big up to Nkuku. More shots on target than Brogia's had all season. It's all mad. It's all mad. Now, first thing I want to say is Pochettino out. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Poch out. Um, but I understand that it's a 50-50 thing for today's game. And that's fine. Like we, we will address both sides of the coin on this one. But Poch definitely, definitely, definitely does not run away with it. And I'm not listening to anyone here trying to tell me, Oh, but if the attack scored, we, we would have won 1-0. Oh, you're, you're too negative. You're always on Poch. You got an eject. Fuck off. Seriously, shut the fuck up and, and drop your bullshit. Because why is it that we can we consistently look worse and worse by the week? Why is that? There's a reason why I weren't fooled by that Sheffield United performance or that Newcastle performance. Because it weren't good enough. Well, yeah, we got by in the cup because Trippier chested down a cross in open space to Mudrick. Wow. Wow. Fucking wow. We haven't been playing well for a minute. We haven't been playing well for ages. Our setup is never good defensively. Our setup for crosses is never good enough defensively. Our, our plan B is non existent. You throw forwards out with no tactical instructions. And you see that because they don't tell the other players anything when they come onto the pitch. They just run on. They run on and do their thing because there's no plan B. There's no setup. The discipline is the exact same as it always has been. Now we have Palmer out with a yellow. Sterling's yellow I don't think was fair, but he's out with a yellow. Jackson's got another yellow for shouting at the referee. He's done it again. He's fucking done it again. Only decent chances that we seem to formulate come from errors. Because we can't set up chances ourselves. We yet again cannot break down a low block. We yet again have constant overtouches in the final third. The, the lineup. We, we yet again bench Matson, And then when you finally want to bring Matson on. You take off the right back. Like what? We saw how much the game changed when we had Matson and, and Gusto on either side. We started dominating the wings against Newcastle. And then he goes and he takes one off for the other. And he, we're bringing on centre-backs at 1-0 down. <laughs> we're bringing on fucking centre-backs at 1-0 down. I am so finished. I'm so finished. And if you think this isn't on Poch... Let me drop this stat on your head, Tops. Because why is it we've never been losing a game in the first half? And why is it we continue to drop the games in the second half? What a game management that is. Well, what a tactical adjustment that is for Pochettino. What a plan B for Pochettino. Fucking hell, man. Fuck, if you cannot see how much Poch is holding this team back. Word to Rance, you probably hate us. You probably hate us. Because how do you not see how we're going down? You really think we have a 10th place defence? You think we have a 10th place midfield? Even with all the questions of the attack, you think we have a 10th place attack? You see how much our forwards are outscoring the likes of Liverpool's forwards, the likes of Arsenal's forwards, Martinelli, Jesus, 
Diaz, Nunes, fucking Saka, Martinelli, fucking nearly everyone except Saka for Arsenal. But hey, we have a 10th place team. That's how bad this football gaslights these players. Because it makes them look that bad. And everyone drinks the Kool-Aid because we don't want to sack another manager. We don't want to sack another manager. We're going to go into a reset. We're going to have to get rid of the whole players again because we signed all these players to eight-year contracts just under the understanding that they were only going to work under Pochettino. So if another manager comes in, we're going to have to get rid of them all again. We're going to have to get rid of them all again. How is, does, this, does, this, does this go through your fucking heads? If we've got all these young players... Clearly, they need someone who can actually coach. Someone who has tactics. And then you just add a couple of experienced heads and your team is set. There it is. Right in front of you. But no, it's, it, it's, it, we need to reset. We're going to have to reset. We have to trust Poch with these players. We were told he develops everyone. That's why players are still constantly overtouching in the final third. That's why no one improves except Conor Gallagher because we build this team around him. That's why players are constantly misprofiled because it's tactics and it's youth development. No, look at the writing on the wall. Now, the only thing I'm going to say for these attackers, Jackson was atrocious, probably his worst game of the season. Like, the, the indecisiveness from him is ridiculous. But again... It's being allowed because the manager doesn't stop him doing that. He has done it all season. Broya, I'm just putting it straight down to him not being at the level that we need him to be at. He needs to go on loan. He cannot start games for us unless we're playing championship or league one teams. He cannot start. The ball just bounces off him or it goes through him or the technique's crap. He offers nothing. At least Nicholas Jackson shows me some fundamentals every, now, every once in a while. Broya, don't do that. Sterling, our best forward, but we're all going to remember that three-on-one situation. But again, my problem is Sterling's done this before. Sterling's done this before. So it's either being coached or it's either being allowed. It's one or the other. But Sterling's done this before. Aston Villa, I've seen it. The same thing at nil-nil. Man United should have passed to Jackson a lot earlier. Spurs, it happened a good couple times in the second half until we finally patterned up and realised they were a nine-man team with a high line. Also, by the way, the only top six team that we've beaten. If you want to count Newcastle on penalties, go for it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Big up to Petrovic and Nkuku. Big up to Gusto. It's probably about it. It's probably about it. Everybody else are Sterling, not even, for the 3v1. Like, like, you undid all the good work for that. Just save for the assist for Nkuku. Save for that. This is my annoying thing about Sterling. He can be so annoying, but the guy just bags you GNA. So to a point, you have to firm it. You have to accept it. He's the best that we have. Says a lot. Says a lot. Fucking says a lot. But yeah, big up to Petrovic. He weren't to blame for, ever, for anything. Kept the scoreline decent. That's it. Now we go to Crystal Palace with, with no Sterling, no Palmer. It's probably going to have to be in Cuckoo in the, ten, in the 10. I think God knows what we're going to have to do. But that ain't pretty. There are just a couple stats I want to reel off. Just to symbolise Pochettino's time at Chelsea. Fourth away loss in a row. Nottingham Forest only away win this season. Only away win this season. Um, Brentford's last away win was against us early November. We're now at Christmas. Man United have had one win in the last seven games. wonder who that was against. wonder who that was against. Man United have only scored in one of their last four games. wonder who that was against. wonder who that was against. Most defeats in the Premier League in 2023. Out of all the teams that have been here through the entirety of, of 2023. So, yeah. It's not your forests. It's not your palaces. It's us. It's us. And 10th. And 10th. Merry Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas. You want to know what will make it a Merry Christmas? If I see a club statement 
in the next few hours. I want another excuse to go live. Give me another excuse to go live. I need Poch out. Get Poch out. Poch out. And if you don't like that take, you can fuck off with him. Like, subscribe, and yeah, Merry Christmas.